Hey there, adventurers! Welcome back. Today, I've got the second episode of our ROM Community FAQ series for you. All the questions in this video come directly from our ROM official Discord server. We recently launched a new channel in the server called the In-Game Suggestion Channel. You can submit any suggestions you have about the game in this channel and also vote for the suggestions you agree with. Every week, we gather and provide feedback on the suggestions that receive the most votes from players during the week. So, without further ado, let's dive into the most popular questions from the community in the past few weeks. If you're curious, just keep watching. In early June, we received numerous suggestions regarding the in-game events. After the launch of the Piñatas gift and Fantasylands gift, we received a lot of feedback from players on our official Discord server and Facebook page. This feedback included dissatisfaction with the event experience such as lagging and drop rates. Upon receiving your complaints, we immediately started adjusting the experience and drop rates and provided compensation. Moving forward, we'll continue to optimize the game event experience. And we have received a lot of thoughts on the latest version of the weekend event. We welcome all of you to provide us with suggestions as your feedback is truly valuable to us. PC client, please. We'll hurt you loud and clear. In fact, it's not just on Discord server that we receive this suggestion. On our Facebook page, we have also seen expectation for the PC version of ROM. However, due to our current focus on the new version, it will take some time before the PC version is launched. We kindly ask for your patience and understanding as proper plans are being delivered to make the best PC version for all of you. We've already completed the raid function for the Secret Realm of Phantom, and it was introduced in the June update. The raid function for the Battle of Cake is currently in progress and is expected to be released in October update. However, we currently have no plans to enable the raid function for the Chaotic Invasion dungeon. We apologize for not bringing back the bring card exchange event for the time being. Regarding the surplus of blue chips, we have indeed taken note of this issue. The chips may not have immediate use at the moment as we continue to raise the level cap in the future. But there will be more ways to spend the extra chips in stock. So rest assured, the blue chips will eventually have their purpose. We are pleased to announce that in July, we have plans to update the pre-order feature in the exchange. The pre-order feature will be installed for multiple items at the same time. So stay tuned for the upcoming update. Unlike 6v6, the reward for 12v12 have a huge impact on end season rewards. While purchasing items itself may not be difficult, the challenge lies in determining the currency for selling and how players from different rankings in each season can make their purchases. These factors require careful consideration which may take us more time to address appropriately. There is a setting you can turn on to reduce graphics in exchange for better performance. Please let us know if it helps. We suggest against turning off all effects as many are designed to indicate danger and mark attention. Therefore, we won't completely disable them as they play a crucial part in our gameplay. While our goal is to provide players with various opportunities to encounter MVP cards, they remain highly valuable items in the game. We'll continue to optimize the experience surrounding them. However, overall, these optimizations will not affect the chances of players encountering MVP cards or their value. We have plans for a huge update to the pass system. The update is aimed to make pass more important. Therefore, we'll keep the current pass system until the big update is finally installed. So stay tuned. We apologize that no changes will be made on the output of fortune coins in the game. However, you can get more by joining our weekly community events on Facebook and Discord server as they usually drop fortune coins. We are already working on it! We are currently designing more diverse and rewarding events 
for returned players that will be introduced in the future versions. We look forward to meeting more returned adventurers with these exciting updates. Last question is about the headgear rewards in the Battle of Cake. And yes, we'll introduce new headgears at regular intervals. The cycle for adding new headgear is relatively long to maintain a consistent duration before new headgear becomes available. We encourage you to continue providing us with suggestions on the ROM official Discord server. Click the link below to join us. We're also calling for creators. Use the link in the description below to join our creator program and win some rewards. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a thumb up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll bring you more of the latest gaming news. See you all next time. Bye.